Greetings to Bishop Ayo, former president of the Christian Association of Nigeria. Blessings to Papa Ayo and Mama Helene, senior pastors of the Word of Life Bible Church, and all of the leaders of the body of Christ in Nigeria gathered in Wari with the bishops and pastors, as well as governmental dignitaries. Amen. As a guardian of the King family legacy, the earthly family of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and as one who as a young woman marched and was jailed in the civil rights movement which he led, I witnessed the impact of his transformational Christ-centered ministry. In this same spirit, I commend you for your concern to further establish Christian leadership in Africa. I am not referring only to godliness in the world systems, but in establishing the kingdom of God. Amen? I look forward to the day when I will stand again on the soil of Africa, my motherland, and visit Nigeria as an emissary of Christ and a guardian of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy. Right now, I am with you in spirit and living for Christ while carrying on the struggle to free the oppressed, my prayers are with you. In my case, I take the struggle against inhumanity of humanity into a number of different realms, including that of the unborn. Thankfully, God has delivered my life from the curse of abortion and is using my life to offer healthy alternatives to abortion around the world. Through our brief time together today, as we connect through technology, I believe that the Lord will quicken to your heart what your part is in living out the dream of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. for nonviolent Christian unity, accepting each other as brothers and sisters in the one blood, one human race of Acts 17, 26. Right now in your own life and your own sphere of influence, accept this truth. We are one blood, one human family. As my uncle MLK would say, if he were here today, we must learn to live together as brothers, and I added sisters, or perish together as fools. I have decided to stick with love. Hate is too great a burden to bear. Amen. I learned these truths from my father, Reverend A.D. King, grandfather, Daddy King, and my uncle, Martin Luther King Jr., and indeed my whole family. I pray that these truths will now be reflected in your lives, your families, and in the lives of those you serve as leaders. Today, I encourage you to never neglect any opportunity to display the integrity of Christ, the character of Christ, and the servanthood of Christ. Christ came not to please himself or to establish his own throne, but rather to give himself to pour out agape love for others. What greater gesture of leadership could there be but to lay down one's life for one's people? When Uncle Emil and also my father A.D. were martyred for their love for God's people and for all people, this was truly a fulfillment of Christ's call to lay down our lives for our friends. My brothers and sisters, within the sound of my voice, I pray right now that you find the strength of Christ, which is reflected in the vision of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That is the strength to love and forgive. Let us pray right now. Please pray with me. Father, help us to forgive and to love and to be ambassadors across the world for Christ. I pray for my brothers and sisters in Nigeria. I pray for people all around the world who will be touched by their leadership. God, continue to guide us in your way and in your truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, please join me just for a moment and let us sing just the end of that great hymn, How Great Thou Art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. God bless you.